News. A report that seems to show how the Supreme Court could eventually decide the fate of abortion rights in this country. Already barricades have gone up outside the court and a large crowd has gathered. Politico obtained an apparent draft of a Supreme Court opinion that is marked as a, quote, first draft and dated back in February that seems to show the conservative majority of justices preparing to overturn Roe versus Wade. Hey there, besties. Thank you for stopping by. I am Michonne Denise. And uh, if you didn't realize it, know it, see it, understand what's going on. Roe versus Wade is in jeopardy of being overturned. And this is about to turn crazy er than what we've already been seeing going on with people, how they acting politically. It is about to go down, regardless of where you stand on one side or the other. They already out here protesting. Let's hear what they got to say. This draft has not been independently confirmed by ABC News and the Supreme Court is not commenting yet. What does all this mean? Well, first, Byron, what we don't know, as you mentioned, we don't know if this draft is authentic. Uh, ABC News has not confirmed it. it. It looks to be, but we have not confirmed that. We also don't know, and this is important, where this comes in the process. Supreme Court justices circulate a lot of drafts. Sometimes votes can change. But the bottom line here is this apparent draft of an opinion in the case that could overturn Roe versus Wade ju does just that. Justice Samuel Alito, in this apparent draft, writing for what looks to be a five-vote majority of the Supreme Court, says bluntly, we hold that Roe must be overruled. Then he goes on to say Roe was egregiously wrong from the start. It is a full on repudiation and overturning of Roe versus Wade. Once again, we don't know if this is the way the opinion is going to turn out, but this is a stunning breach of Supreme Court confidentiality. Of This is crazy. I have never heard a leak from the Supreme Court. I've never heard of it. I've never seen it especially this much information and maybe because we're in this technological age this is the reason why we can know and see all this but we shouldn't know this this information should not be out someone leaked this mess no if ands or buts to get everybody all riled up i'm telling you this is all political this is gonna be a mess and even though they did say that this is from february we are now in may people can change their minds they can talk they can bribe i don't know what they, allegedly allegedly i don't know what they do i'm just this is just my opinion i do not know anything however what i do know is that this is going to create havoc with regard to the uh, politics upcoming midterms and then if this is the case and it does go through and it is overturned and it's up to states states are already making all these decisions already but they will have so much more leeway moving forward and Oh, Lord, if y'all thought something was going on up until this point, this is going to make it even worse. These women are going to be out of control. This is going to be crazy. Secrecy of the traditions of the court and one clearly designed to get a public reaction. It's a crisis for the court because the court's authority comes from the, the, the notion that those justices deliberate and come to a conclusion and they don't play politics. They don't play public opinion. But if this apparent draft opinion holds all of Roe versus Wade will go, and that means there will be no federal constitutional right to, uh, for a woman to choose an abortion. That issue will go back to the states. One by one, we will have a divided country where in some places women can get an abortion, and in other places, they'll be criminals. Byron. This morning, there's strong reaction from both sides of the abortion issue. Eyewitness News reporter Rosti Matei joins us live now with more on the unprecedented leak from the Supreme Court. Good morning, Ross. Good morning to you, Jim. An official ruling has not been made yet, but if this draft is allowed to stand, women could lose their federally protected abortion rights by the end of June. And that is already sparking protests this morning. <laughs> of supporters and opponents of abortion rights clashing outside of the Supreme Court early this morning. A preview of the state-by-state -state fight that may lie ahead for both sides after an explosive new report suggests the Supreme Court's conservative majority appears poised to overturn Roe v. Wade, the 1973 case that legalized abortion. Politico says it obtained a 98-page draft opinion that was circulated among the justices earlier this year. The court's opinion is not official until published, and it's unclear if this is the final version. The draft is in response to a case about Mississippi's abortion ban, outlawing most abortions after 16 weeks. The ruling is expected by July.
Roe was egregiously wrong from the start, Justice Samuel Alito writes. Its reasoning was exceptionally weak, and the decision has had damaging consequences. If the draft opinion stands, what it means is that women will live in two very different Americas. Loyola Law Professor Jessica Levinson notes about half the states want to ban or severely restrict abortions. I think this was entirely expected. And I still think it's stunning. While the court says it is not commenting on the report, sources tell CBS News that Chief Justice John Roberts is likely to order an investigation that includes the FBI to determine the source of the leak. Oh, yeah, they're going to get down to the bottom of that. Oh, they're going to get down to the bottom of that, no doubt. The funny thing about all this, though, actually, is that none of this is a surprise. Just like, <clears throat> excuse me, just like that lady just said. The fact that they're making this decision, if this is actually what they're going to do, is not the surprise. The bigger surprise for me, and what should be really the bigger surprise for anyone, is the fact that this information got leaked. That is the bigger deal to me. You have a majority conservative um, judge courtship or whatever. This is not a surprise. I don't know why people acting like, oh my God, we got to take to the streets. Good luck to these women though. No offense. I'm a woman. I understand. It's, it's a thing. You want to get your abortion. I got it. But we got to see where these, these women are about to go crazy. Do you view Roe as having super precedent? Former President Trump's nominees were pressed by Democrats during their confirmation hearings on how they would rule if this issue came up. It has been reaffirmed many times. My position as a judge is that there's 45 years of precedent. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer said in a blistering joint statement that if the report is true, the conservative justices have, quote, lied to the U.S. Senate and ripped up the U.S. Constitution. You mean to tell me that a politician may have lied? Is that what y'all are saying? Is that what y'all are saying? These people are just full of it. Y'all just like to talk, just to talk. You already know what it is. You got all these conservatives on the daggone bench. Y'all already knew. So don't play these stupid political games. I'm just giving that quick update. I ain't got time because this is going to be more and more and more. So I'm sure more will come. Let me know what y'all think. Good, bad, or indifferent. Be respectful. That's all I have to ask. If you are new, please consider subscribing. If you are subscribed, I do appreciate you. I will see you all in the next one.